Hi friends. The project that we're going to make today features our bags die. This is called the Spiral Flower Originals die and it's in the Stampin' Up! catalog on page 233 and this die makes beautiful roses. So you do need your Big Shot to make these. I have my plates and I've pre-cut some Whisper White cardstock and I just cut it to measure five and a half by four and a quarter and that will give me four flowers out of one piece of cardstock. So I'm actually going to cut all four pieces at once and I'm just going to put that on my die, sandwich it between my plates. And I'm going to bring my Big Shot over and I'm just going to crank it through. And then I'm just going to pop them out. The beauty about the Big Shot is you can cut multiple pieces at once, which is great. It makes it nice and quick. I've got it a bit tangled up. That one didn't cut through quite as well on that one little bit. So now we have, we've got four flowers here. Okay, so we're going to just make one flower on this video and we need to twirl this up to make a rose. So a trick that I like to do is take my paper piercing tool and I just stick a glue dot on the tip of my tool and I put it on the thin edge of the flower just to fold it over and that will keep it in place and help me get started as I twirl and then once it's started you can just pull it out and continue to twirl it all the way around. And you can sponge the edges of the white if you want. You can sponge it with some red or whatever color you want and of course these look beautiful if you're doing them in different colored cardstock as well. Once I have twirled that up I'm going to let it un twirl just a tiny bit to get it to the size that I want. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some hot glue right in the center here. And then I just push the center down into that puddle of hot glue and just hold it just for a second. And these two edges can fold up a little bit. So there's my beautiful rose. The other thing I like to do, take that glue dot off, is I take my paper piercer just to grab the edge of the petals and bend them down a little bit. Now for the leaves for this rose, I used our Autumn Accents Bakes die on page 232 and I used this leaf right here which gives me this and I just used my scrap pieces of green cardstock, whatever I have. So there's a couple different things you can do with this leaf before you attach it to your flower. You could run it through the Big Shot with the wood grain embossing folder so you get your different lines in it. You could stamp on it if you want but we are just going to do something very tricky and that's just simply crumpling it up. And that just gives it some really neat texture. So I'm taking my glue gun again, putting some glue on the bottom and just attaching my rows. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous, just the way it is. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to grab our clothespin. Now I just buy these clothespins from the dollar store and you get a whole package and I want to decorate this clothespin a bit with some stamping. So I'm just grabbing our star from the Bright and Beautiful stamp set. I'm taking my Early Espresso ink and ink up my star and just simply stamp onto the clothes peg because all we want is just a pretty little design so it's not so plain. 
So really, you could use any stamp that you want. You could even use washi tape instead if you prefer. And it does, it gives it such a pretty design. So we've got some glue on our clothespin. And we're just attaching our flower. Just like that. We're going to set that aside, make our tag. So I have a piece of Whisper White. I want to use the Merry Christmas from the Making Spirits Bright stamp set. Oh, and I haven't put that one together yet. So we're going to pop that out. Peel the backing off. And then this is the little label. And if you haven't put these together before, they're they're cut the labels cut in the middle so it's easy to peel that off and then just line your stamp up onto the label and peel it off and then it's on your stamp and you are ready to rumble I'm taking my block pushing it onto my stamp and I'm gonna stamp it with the cherry cobbler ink So there's my Merry Christmas. And now I'm just cutting a little V. So I just cut up the center and then I'm going from the corners into the center. Oops. So I've cut out my tag. And I'm just taking my bone folder because I want to give that tag that little bit of twirl. Whoops, I just realized I cut the wrong end. I want my Merry Christmas coming this way off my tag. So that's all right. We will trim this up on this side. Don't need it quite that long. Perfect. Add a little bit of glue. And then just tuck that underneath so nobody will see that little mistake only you and I know about it. Now I've made two little bows using the cherry cobbler and the early espresso baker's twine and I'm going to tuck them right in here so because my glue gun is handy I'm just going to put a little dab in there. I'm going to stick my early espresso on first, add another little dab of glue, then I'm adding my cherry cobbler. And then can you guess the last thing we're going to do? Glitter. If you said glitter, you are absolutely correct. So I'm taking my two-way glue pen and those petals that we turned over are going to get glitter put on them. And then I'm putting a little bit on the inside of the rose. Take my dazzling diamonds and sprinkle it all over. Tap it off. We now have a gorgeous Christmas rose and you can just go ahead and clip it onto a tree branch when you're decorating your tree. You can clip it onto your gifts. Whatever decor you want, you can attach a magnet on the back. You now have a gorgeous fridge magnet. You can attach photos to, the, to that. You can do a thousand and three different things with this. Um, you can even use it to close your potato chip bags. Anyways, it's a beautiful, beautiful little gift. And I have made these a lot for all different occasions. Change the colors up for Valentine's or for anniversaries. Change it for birthdays. It's just a great, fun little um, embellishment or decoration, however you want to use it. And everybody that I've been showing these to have just loved this. So I thought, let's do a video, and I hope that it has inspired you and that you will have fun making these as well. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping.